Right. What have we got? <clears throat> Rubies. Cigarette butts. Bit of cloth. Hmm. Is it true? What's said about Sir William? You mean that Sir William was a beast and a monster? Yes, that is true. I must confess that I don't know what to think. Who of us is able to understand God's intention? But I am sure it was not God's will that he came into this world. What do you mean? When he was born, it was as if he wasn't one of God's creations. He had a totally lifeless face. And those eyes. Understand me, it is not easy to talk about it. I understand. Tell me, how did his family cope with it? It was very difficult, especially for his mother. She just could not bear it, and eventually the strain was such that she took her own life. We had to bury her on the Gallows Hill. Where is it? It is a place forgotten by God, a cemetery for suicides. And what about his father? He disappeared the night when all the servants left the mansion. And then, only William remained with Lady Miriam, his grandmother. All this? Just because he had a disfigured face? No, of course not. When he grew older, strange stories began to be told about him. Once, it was a dead cat in his arms. Once, he was found sitting next to a dead horse. And whenever a maid disappeared, you can easily guess whose work it was said to have been. At that time, his father was still alive and kept the estate together, but that was not to last. The servants revolted, set the house on fire, and fled. His father vanished, and only ruins remained. A sad and tragic story. I'd like to know more. You must excuse me, detective, but there is nothing more to say. The coffin was closed during the whole funeral, is that right? Yes. By whose request? Lady Miriam, the grandmother of the deceased, wished it so. That's suspicious, don't you think? I can't understand why. I think it might have already been empty before the funeral. Perhaps it was Lady Miriam's last attempt to protect her grandson. Everybody hates him. It almost destroyed the family. If he disappeared, he would soon be forgotten about. Lady Miriam might have faked his death in the hope that is what would happen. I am sorry, but this seems rather far-fetched to me. The absolute isolation and the permanent fear of discovery would be worse than a prison sentence. You're right, but people sometimes do desperate things when they have no other choice. It's possible that those delinquents tried to break into the church. Perhaps the gravedigger tried to stop them, and so they killed him. But what do the destruction of the tomb and disappearance of the body have to do with it? It can be a provocation, or a camouflage. They try to put us off the scent. I cannot believe it! We're at the very beginning of the investigation. It's my duty to examine every possibility. If I can help with anything, I am at your service.
In that case, I would like to ask you to check the church inventory, just in case something is missing. Yes, that is a good idea. At least I can make myself useful. If you find something out and I'm not here anymore, send a message to the station. You can rely on me, detective. God bless you. Right. <clears throat> Uh, I was thinking about these items. Now, I haven't really seen any way we can. He said something. I he said I'll examine this in more detail later. This piece of cloth, but I can't really do anything with these tools. Or burn it. So, I'm not really sure. I'm guessing I've missed something, and this body, I can still select it, which makes me think I've missed something. He has nothing else. You know. Uh, but before I do this, I need a drink. Strong bow. Lovely. Right. Hmm. Thing is, he's got a cut throat and... No, oh, I can't examine it anymore, so I'm guessing... It's not very useful. I can't dust him or tickle him. Tickly tickly. I'm not going to use a box on him. The fabric <gasps> doesn't match the gravedigger's clothes. The dog definitely fought with someone else. Ah! There you go. See, I can't select him anymore. Which means now, you know, now I don't have to use that anymore. Good. I knew there was something else to do with that body. Should I go have another look at the dog? Can't select the dog. No point walking around the cemetery again. Let's go have a chat with the guy outside. The journalist finally gave up, but there's still a strange feeling in my stomach. Ah, oh, I was hoping you could examine the lamppost where Tim broke the gas valve. Obviously not. I see Mr. Forrest gave up. Well, sir, I would think so, only if I didn't know him. What do you mean? It wouldn't be in his character to leave so easily, sir. What else could he do, in your opinion, if you know him so well? I didn't worry as long as I had him in my sight, but now he might have found another way in. I can watch over the main gate, but the cemetery is too large. I would just like to remind you, sir, that I wanted to go to the station for support. Thank you for the reminder, but don't worry about that. As for the journalist, he surely realize that it's useless. If you think so, sir, you are the detective. There's just something, something about, about it. it. It's, it's really, really dubious, dubious that he would give up so easily. easily. Blasted, Blasted grave digger. The sewers? What the... F I never noticed that before. Once it'll be necessary to search the sewers, Sergeant Carter will finally be useful. Oh, lovely. Let him wade through the shit. <clears throat> um... Let's have a look and see if I can catch that uh, journalist wandering around the graveyard. <laughs> 